Forgive me for doing the old song and dance. This is a story that we technically have gone over before on the channel, but I wanted to bring it up once more because today, Kent Hughes might actually have himself a ray of hope, but it's not one that may be too obvious. Let's open up this conversation with a statistic posted by Sportsnet Stats earlier two days ago. The Montreal Canadiens on October 31st, 2024, owned the NHL's worst save percentage at .852 and the worst goals against average at 4.56 since Samuel Montembeau's season-opening shutout. This is not surprising. To anybody who has been watching the Montreal Canadiens and keeping up with Montembeau, with Primo, taking a look at how these guys are performing, the team stinks defensively and the goaltending is not up to snuff either. These two individual aspects of the squad have been terrible. But what if I told you there was hope? What if I told you that marinating in the ranks of the Laval Rocket, the Montreal Canadiens have themselves some sort of a miracle signing that may or may not exist within the organization? Today, Let's talk about the Laval Rocket's best goaltender, because his name is one that you might not actually recognize right away, considering that he was a Montreal free agent signee this previous offseason. Let's talk today about Connor Hughes. Now, if you have been following the channel, you would have known that we did make a video about Connor when the Canadians signed him back in the summer. We were very clear in his path, and we had spoken about how he is not at least according to Elite Prospects, he is not related to Kent Hughes. They just happen to have the same last name. Kent Hughes' son is Jack Hughes. No, not the New Jersey Devils Jack Hughes, but the Jack Hughes that was drafted by the LA Kings just a few years ago. Yeah, it gets kind of confusing when you think about how many Hugheses there are in the National Hockey League or in AHL-affiliated squads. Two Jack Hugheses, one Quinn Hughes, one Luke Hughes, one Kent Hughes, and then you have yourselves Connor Hughes, who is the best goaltender in Laval. A guy who was 28 years old, 6'4", 225, left-handed dude, signed by the Habs till the end of the season, making $775,000. He's making $225,000 in the AHL, which is still pretty reasonable money for a guy who had freshly been brought onto the team. The reason I say freshly brought on is because he had spent the past seven years after playing in the CCHL with the Carlton Place Canadiens playing in Switzerland. He had a long and prestigious career with multiple Swiss hockey teams. Freiburg Gorteron is on here, so is Genève Servette and HC Ambre Priota, and he recently played for Lausanne. He scored himself a 940 save percentage and a 173 goals against average in 19 games, on top of a 933 save percentage in the Swiss playoffs. He had a 191 goals against over there, and as a result, he put up the best goals against average and the best save percentage in the league. He pretty much was the best goaltender. The Habs then signed him to a contract. He is now in Laval, and with the Rocket, he has played four total games, and he has a 954 save percentage, a 151 goals against. He's got one shutout. He is 3 1 0. His Four games so far with Laval have been very solid. The worst game was a 9-12 save percentage game, wherein the Rocket defeated the Utica Comets 4-3. Interestingly enough, he has split the load dead set right down the middle with Jakob Dobes, who has been pretty good in his own right too, but Connor Hughes is the guy that is really taking over in terms of his productivity. I mean, from a 9-20 save percentage to a shutout to a 9-12 save percentage to a 9-6-4, he has been very, very solid, and he's been inciting a lot of confidence within the Laval Rocket and their organization. So, with this in mind, is it a ludicrous idea to think about the Montreal Canadiens goaltending situation? You talk about how poorly Primo and Montembeau have both been playing, and you ask yourself, is it worth it to take a guy who was playing in the Swiss League last year, who had just gotten a small cup of coffee of North American hockey for the first time in almost a decade in four games with the Laval Rocket? Is it reasonable to think about giving him that opportunity? I will say, it is kind of crazy to bring a guy from Switzerland over to the AHL and then bring him into the NHL. 
But it's not like Connor Hughes is going to get any better. He's 28 years old. He doesn't necessarily have more development, quote unquote, than he needs to go through. And besides, if the Montreal Canadiens wanted to bring up a guy like this and play him, can he be any worse than Montembeau or Primo? At this point, I don't really know. So, obviously it's a crazy, wacky idea, but the Montreal Canadiens have been used to a three-goalie rotation in the past. The Jake Allen, Primo Montembeau thing from last year I think will still haunt many Canadiens fans, and at the same time, you have to acknowledge that at a time like this, when the Canadians are just trying to get their foot back under them and trying to string together results, maybe you need a Hail Mary. Maybe you need some sort of a miracle. Maybe you need some sort of an unexpected guy to come in here and save the day. I will say, though, one of the only reasons I think this is not really the right thing to do now at this particular point is because I'm pretty sure Jakob Dobes, the other goaltender in Laval, just got injured, so there will need to be a little bit of compromise there. Either the Montreal Canadiens swap, let's say, Caden Primo, they send him down and Connor Hughes gets called back up, or they try to bring one of the other dudes from the ECHL's Trois Rivières Lions up and they roll with that instead. There are options, of course, but it's not necessarily an ideal situation to do anything of that nature at the moment, considering the injuries. If you really wanted to bring up like a Hunter Jones, for example, from the ECHL, play him in the AHL alongside of, let's say, somebody else, then okay, that's an idea if you wanted to dive into it. But ultimately, there would need to be a lot of pieces moving around to get this Connor Hughes to Montreal idea to fully work. I'm just tossing it out there, planting a seed, getting the ball rolling, because I do think that for a guy who has been as good as he has been in the AHL, there's reason to go out there and discuss what possibilities there are in regards to maybe having those services fix the regular Montreal Canadiens team. If you go over to the AHL and you sort by save percentage and goals against average, you will find that Connor Hughes is literally the ninth best goaltender in the entire league when it comes to save percentage, and he's one of the best if you exclude guys who only have one game played. You sort by goals against average, and Connor Hughes is still there in the top eight. A lot of these guys are not necessarily the best goaltenders out there, especially at the NHL level. I mean, Dennis Hildeby was alright, Billy Huso sucked, but there are some other dudes here that do bear repeating. Artur Akhyamanov for the Toronto Maple Leafs is interesting, so is Yaroslav Askarov, but Connor Hughes is doing very, very well. So, I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you're a Montreal Canadiens fan, a Laval Rocket fan, what are your thoughts on how Connor Hughes has been performing so far? We had been seeing a lot of the clips online, people are talking about his saves and talking about his clutch factor and being able to snag up dubs for Laval. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as to how well you think that would translate to the NHL if Kent Hughes decided to call him up, and do you think that's really an idea worth talking about? I mean, okay, I just made an entire 8-minute video about it, talking about it, so yeah, maybe it is worth talking about in my opinion, but in yours, let me know in the comment section below. Connor Hughes, yay or nay, I hope you enjoyed this video, and bye.